And Ghana risks losing all its children to worm infestation in the next 25 years as a deworming exercise organized for children in the Medina community dubbed the Worm Free Child Project. Project coordinator Abigail Conto emphasized the need to deworm children regularly. Millions of children are infected worldwide with parasitic worms, which become detrimental to the child health, cognitive development, education, and to a large extent, the child's future. In Ghana, about 1.3 million children are infected with worms, with up to two-thirds at risk of intestinal parasitic worms. Worm infestation begins when a person swallows food with contaminated eggs. Children who suck their thumbs are said to be at risk of worm infestation. The highest prevalence occurs where there is poor sanitation, unhygienic practices, indiscriminate defecation, low levels of education, and lack of access to health care services. Common symptoms of worm infestation include diarrhea, loss of appetite, skin rash, abdominal pain, fever, cough, itching and general weakness. At the second edition of the Worm Free Child Project, over 1,000 children in the Medina community, project coordinator Abigail Conto emphasized the need to deworm children regularly. Over 25% of the population is affected with worms every now and then. And the most number happens to be children of school going age from age 2 to 15 years. So they have to do deworming, educate them, tell them why they need to deworm every time to create that awareness. The families, the care, um, support systems, the parents, the community that there's something called worms that can affect them. So they should be worming as often as they should. Senior physician assistant at the Obojo Hospital, Zuera to Naziru, Mada also had this to say. If we are careful to give children at least every three months to deworm them, we will not be coming with all these complications. The Worm Free Child Project is aimed at curbing worm infestation, increasing children's resistance to infections, reducing anemia and promoting healthy living in the average Ghanaian child. The project was organized by Cradle to Kiryong Ghana in collaboration with Shop and Save Supermarkets.